Presumably, in the course of their research for the book, Isabel Oakshaw obtained access one way or another to a set of WhatsApp messages which have now written themselves into the history books. It's probably the first time WhatsApp has made it into the history books. But the messages that are uncovered, unveiled, between Matt Hancock, Boris Johnson, the chiefs of the medical and scientific apparatus in the British state, other ministers, senior members of parliament, are so utterly damning that you certainly haven't heard the last of them. They will, of course, feature prominently in the public inquiry, which I have no idea when it will get underway or for how many years it will toil, but the vineyard will be full of Matt Hancock's WhatsApp messages. Many things are revealed in these messages. The first is the state of absolute chaos, which prevailed at the top of the British state and now that we can see them, we can more easily understand how our country was amongst the worst in the entire world. Despite all the efforts to spin Boris Johnson's government as somehow a success on COVID, we were a catastrophic failure. Not only did a very significant number of our people die, particularly old people who were sent into the canyons of horror, otherwise known as old people's homes, to make way in the hospitals for the expected tsunami of COVID victims. They were sent into these old people's homes not just to die themselves, but to pass the virus on to others and kill them, staff as well as old people that were living in these residences. The crime, of course, does not end there. The crime of failure to prepare is one that the government and the opposition will completely fail to exculpate themselves from.